what is up everybody welcome back to my channel and right now i am extremely excited for a number of things so i just finished clearing the last agency that i need to clear before i go to cif cif is central issue facility where a soldier goes to be issued all of their military gear like helmets their vests plates sleeping bags tents whatever a soldier needs for the unit anyways i'm excited but i'm freaking out inside okay because i should have known this but i have to clean my gear and it's not done yet <laughs> my appointment is tomorrow morning but i still have to clean my gear and somehow i misplaced an item so we're gonna go to the surprise store but yes, overall, I'm excited. I just hit my 20 year mark yesterday, April the 10th. <sighs> I've been doing this for 20 years. Wow, man, 20 years. I'm like so excited, so excited. Right now, I'm gonna go see if I can find this poncho liner. There's a poncho liner that I need. And I remember having it okay so a soldier is responsible for all their gear that they're issued responsible for maintaining accountability of it and the cleanliness of it and I mean I do great with that however I mean it's got to be because I'm about to retire it's got to be like where I have everything but that really so yeah I am about to go on a hunt for this poncho liner i'm trying to figure out where could it possibly be i don't remember turning it in but when i look for it with all of my other military gear it wasn't there so i don't know 20 years later and i got a double chin finally i'm about 60 pounds heavier okay so right now i'm in the room where the trunk is and i'm not gonna show you what the room looks like because that's not what this is about. I need for my poncho liner to be inside this trunk. Okay. So, these are all the things that I don't use. What? I didn't know I had these. I thought I got rid of these. I probably should wear these because be tearing up the bottom of my feet and I got these big ugly calluses on the bottom of my feet it's gross so look through here and see if I can spot what I need it's gonna look like this but this isn't it this this is actually a jacket what, what a Gore-Tex jacket I think dang man where is it it needs to be in here oh this retro this is what I got issued. Okay, if you've been in the army longer than me, as long as me, you know what this is. Like, this is what I wore when I was stationed in Germany. Man, I'm like going through this stuff and like all this old gear is coming up. This is what we wore. Well, when you wear you wear it under your your uniform jacket when it's cold outside. I don't even think soldiers do that anymore. We got so many other different little gear items. These are the old silk weight thermal type. These are steel toe boots. If you're a mechanic, you will be issued steel toe boots and AIT. I mean, they don't issue them black anymore. It's tan now, but yeah. Oh man, it's my Gerber. I think it's a knife though. It's got my knife. Yes, sir. What is this? Team Bragg. Oh, when I was stationed at Fort Bragg, I was very involved with the BOSS program. BOSS stands for Better Opportunities for Single Soldiers. So that's what that shirt is from. I got a FLC extender belt, a pistol belt extender. I got gloves. I'm seeing everything but what I want to see. And that 
makes me sad. Old PT, old PT shirt. <sighs> yeah, these are the memories. This is a sleeping bag I got while well, I was a drill sergeant. I think I won it for something. This right here, when I was deployed to Iraq, I think it was my first deployment. <laughs> Look, we had alterations, embroider our names on the back of the hat, and it's in Arabic. That's cool. Then we have old camelback. I don't even want to look at the part that holds water. It's probably moldy. I don't even want to look at it. Then I have another camelback right here. Yes, sir. And I got this. It's called a baklava. We don't even use those anymore old pt pants so oh here's my old pts remember these so this is the uniform pt uniform that the army switched to right when i enlisted so i came in the army april 2002 when i was going through reception this was the PT uniform with the black PT pants. And then you had the black shorts with the gray shirts, gray t-shirts. So yeah, I'm looking in here and I do not see. Oh, there's my Peltors. I was looking for these. I was looking for these. I do not see that daggone poncho line. So because I couldn't find what I was looking for at home, I end up here, surplus store. Prayerfully, they have what I need so I can just get back home and clean the rest of my gear. This is it. Praise the Most High, yeah. Got what I need, baby, yeah, yeah. Now I can go get some lunch. <laughs> Ooh, but it was $40, $40. It's all good, it's all good. Yeah, it's exactly what I needed. And I got a new one, it looked brand new. Like nobody used it, so. I ain't mad about it. I have to put this in here because, you know, I don't want somebody to try to play me, but I did not need to buy that poncho liner because I had my poncho liner tucked away in my sleeping bag system, so. But I didn't even look, I didn't even go through that until way after the fact, like late, late, much later on in that day. So, hmm. 20 years. Wow. It's gone by so fast. It's gone by slow, but it's gone by fast. That doesn't even make sense, but that's the best way to describe it. Today, I am sneezy. I ate some strawberry shortcake and uh, oreo cookies and cream parfait yesterday to celebrate my 20 year anniversary because i deserve it but now i think i'm paying for it my body is paying for it because of all of the dairy so i've been sneezing all morning all afternoon and my nose is so itchy and i don't have allergies or anything like that and there's not much pollen Ooh, say it, don't spray it there's not much pollen in the air, so I'm like, I know I don't have allergies. So this is what I have left clean, and I didn't even realize that it had some really dirty spots on it. I went to the range a couple of times, maybe once or twice, but you see this area here? Where just below the neck goes. I gotta scrub that. And I had to take the side flap things off that holds the small plates. Clean those. I mean, it's not too, too dirty, but I have a couple of spots I need to hit. Then my helmet, I need to take it apart. Hubby went and got me some pliers so I can loosen that part up there. Take the MVG mount off. I mean, it's really easy. 
And this is all I got to clean. Clean the cover. And that's it. I really don't want to, but for whatever reason, this duffel bag is kind of feels greasy, but it's not grease. It's just dirt. So I'm see if I can get these off. And yeah, that'll be it. Really quick. I feel like I need to do this because celebrating 20 years. Thought it only right. You see how I look now, okay? Let me show you how I look when I first joined the army 20 years ago. So here's me and a battle buddy. Her name was Madison. I don't know where we were. But when I first came in, we had BDUs, battle dress uniform. This is my homegirl, Naperi. She was one of those trainees that didn't make it through the whole trainee process so she got chaptered out i don't know what for though this was my uniform in i think it was ait i was a squad leader that's why i got that gold sergeant rank right there and then here's battle buddies ait first we got she was beverly in Madison and then Alexander that's not her rank her original name was Trace but she later got married Alexander here's me private <laughs> I added this just because let's see we had to wear a pistol belt because connected to it was our canteen our water source we didn't have camelbacks back in the day and then here I am in front of the company I was, in, I was in Bravo, Bravo 187. Yep. Grizzly Bears. And then here is another battle buddy. This chick was hilarious. I can't remember her name. Save my life. And can't see her name tape. So I'm not going to try to guess. Here's me and Perry again. Here's me and Beverly. And her and I, we actually got stationed in Germany. Because our first duty stations together. Look at how scrawny y'all look. Ugh. Here's Bohack. I will always joke about his chick's name. I'd be like, Bohack. I would just say it really loud and obnoxious. It was crazy. So here's me on graduation day of AIT, I believe. And I don't know where my, my ribbon is. I should have been wearing a National Defense Service medal. Army service ribbon. Maybe that was before. I don't know. Oh, and we went to the museum that was on post. I went with my mom, I believe. Here I am. Ha! Trying to pose like her. I don't even know who that is. But I got hooked on Rosie the Riveter for a while. Because I thought she was, she stood for something pretty cool concerning women all right so i think me and the perry were on roving guard one night and we took some pictures so this is 19 year old me at fort jackson south carolina well 19 years young and then here i am full battle rattle that is me <laughs> look at how skinny I was Ooh, look at my boots semi shiny semi shiny I could never really get that spent shine like I wanted to and here's the butter buddies goofing off in the base the Perry I wonder what she's doing now I don't know oh, this brings back so many memories and now I have a roll in my neck and a double chin 20 years later. Mm -mm -mm. This is the day I graduated basic combat training. Oh, I was so skinny. I was so happy. There's my mom and me. Some family came to my graduation. Lord, you can't see through the glare. Hold on, let me fix this. It's me and my aunt Z. Me and my aunt Z. See, 
Okay, that's my brother Jarrell. That's me, Aunt Z, and my cousin Adrian. And here's a family picture. Family. Pretty supportive. More family. It's me. See? Look at these glasses. The BCGs, the birth control goggles. Wait, there's one picture I have that is like a hot mess with them glasses on. Is it is in this book? Hmm. See, the BCGs. I look like such a dork. So that's how the army issue glasses were. Back in 2002. And here is with the Army Issues now. They've come a long way, huh? A long way. I'm not mad about it. Oh, my God. Ha. Here it is. Okay. So, you see my face now, right? Here's 19-year-old me. <laughs> Don't laugh. I might have to take a picture of it and put it on the screen. Do a comparison. 